Hello, I'm Matt Darling, the curator of Cross Orchards Historic Site. A little background history on Cross Orchards. Uh, in the 1890s, uh, Walter and Elizabeth Cross started buying land to create a new fruit and land company. They ended up calling it the Cross Orchards Fruit and Land Company. And it was originated here, okay, where they built you know, our historic bunkhouse, and then the uh, packing shed barn was built in 1910. And Cross Orchards ended up being the largest apple orchard in all of the Grand Valley at 243 acres with 22,000 trees. At the time, the average orchard was about 10 acres. So Cross Orchards was a mammoth operation for the Grand Valley. Sadly, Cross Orchards struggled to pull a profit, um, but you know, the Crosses were kind of absentee owners, but they invested heavily in the company. The wages at Cross Orchards were better than the other orchards, um, and they produced many, many carloads of apples, you know, and pears, and some peaches, for many, many years. The coddling moth ended up uh, bankrupting the company, and Cross Orchards was liquidated in 1923. The parcels were sold off in about 40 acre increments. Um, agriculture continued at Cross Orchards, but on a much, much smaller scale after 1923. Uh, then in 1981, the land came up for sale, and the museums of Western Colorado had the opportunity to buy it. And the name Cross Orchards you know, kind of came back as a you know, living history farm and now as a historic site.